Graphene is a single sheet of carbon atoms having a honeycomb structure. Graphene is only one carbon atom thick and is the thinnest substance known. It boasts extremely high carrier mobility at room temperature. Because of this, it is receiving much attention as a next generation material for electronics. However, it will not be possible to develop a manufacturing method without a better understanding of its structure and properties. One promising method for manufacturing graphene substrates is to decompose silicon carbide thermally and remove silicon atoms. Graphene film forms in one or more layers, and there is a need for layers to be formed over a wide area, and that the number of layers be fixed and uniform over that area. A low-energy electron microscope, which enables us to observe surface nanostructures, plays an extremely important role in the formation and inspection of this type of thin film. NTT Basic Research Laboratories is making use of this equipment to grow graphene and to analyze the conditions required for growing. So far, we have established techniques for the microscopic determination of the number of layers, making it possible to fabricate the samples necessary to study their characteristics. We are also using an integrated nanoprobe, which is able to measure the current between two electrodes on the tip of silicon cantilever to reveal electrical characteristics of the samples. Through these observations, we have been able to understand the relationship between the number of graphene layers and electron conductivity. Also, by explaining the mechanisms by which graphene layers grow, and by using these results in quantum mechanics computations from the first principles on a supercomputer, we can optimize the conditions for growth. In this way, we have been able to grow uniform two-layer graphene films over areas up to several micrometers in size by controlling growth. At NTT Basic Research Laboratories, we are advancing understanding of the structure and physical properties of graphene using techniques for observing surface nanostructure. Ultimately, we hope to achieve basic research that will lead to practical graphene devices.